So we're at a place to take a shower. And are you kidding me? Look how clean this is. We get 30 so minutes. Nice. We should probably get going. We get 30 we minutes. We 30 minutes, so we gotta go. But I mean. Yeah. Look how clean. Look how clean this is. There's not even a speck of dust in here. And she's so nice. She's such a lovely woman. Good morning, everyone. I feel. I'm all peppy now because I took a shower and I feel that much better. What do you, you have having my, a tough go with your, with your window? Bugging out. So yeah, we slept at the, well, I mean, we slept at the, Eklutna? Eklutna, Eklutna. We're having, right. always having a tough time saying that apparently. This cute little shop that I showed you. <laughs> um just before this and we were like it said showers and we were like oh my gosh that's exactly what we need yeah. and it said coffee and all these things so we're like okay perfect there's cleanest cleanest bathrooms i've ever been in like legitimately yeah. like when you think like on the road showers you think hair all over the floor grimy disgusting no it was spotless and it was amazing and this woman who's like, who's there. Like, she's an angel. She's amazing. Like she's like probably one of the nicest people we've met along the way here. She's just an absolute angel. Ava. Ava. Just a ray of sunshine. So that just like made our day that much better. Anyways. And then we got some coffees. Braden got a mocha and I got a, a drip coffee. So I'm excited. You as soon as her shaking fingers touched the cardboard, then she was carefully prying the Marlboro box free. Interesting place to keep a stash, but she'd heard of people squirreling away drugs. We get to this glacier, we go in, they're like, it's $150 for a guided tour, and we only do guided tours. You can't drive to the glacier on your own and do it yourself. So we're like, mm, I don't know if I want to pay $150 to do a guided tour. That's a lot of money, and I don't really want to pay it. So... We got to see it from afar, it's very pretty. So we're just gonna drive, maybe we'll drive to Hatcher's Pass. We're kind of wanting to drive right now. We're listening to an audiobook and we really enjoy it. So we're kind of, don't mind finding excuses to drive around a little bit. Look at the comparison. Brayden is just... I'm winning. Just winning. I've got like seven. I've got a handful. We're still a little skeptical on whether or not they are blueberries. <laughs> I definitely have blueberries. There's just three other types of berries. Or two other types of berries. There was crowberries and another type of berry that was blue and looked similar but wasn't. But, yeah. Kind of sour. So we might die. That is what it is. You live and you learn, I guess. I don't know, big deal. Or you die. <laughs> so be it. Oh, 
Walgreens a little behind. Sucks it is. Got the lead though. Oh, wait a minute. Trailing might have been a little early. But Pixel looks out. Pixel gave the look at the end. And Into it. I'm That's so fine. Mm. <laughs> Our chicken's so good. Can I have a small piece? Teeny tiny piece? This is tag. This is 1v1. I'll 1v1 him. We sent it a little too hard. We did what? We sent it a little too hard off a bump. A little frustrated. <laughs> My hazard's on. So, what time is it? It's uh, 3.15 yep. in the morning and we're changing a tire while I'm sitting. It's not like you can, I can really help changing a tire. It's a one-man job. And uh, you wouldn't even believe it because the front tire is also slightly fudged. You can see that bubble? Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do, but we might just have to drive slow until... I think we might actually have to go back. Yeah. This tire got annihilated. So many mosquitoes. We have bear spray. We need bug spray. <laughs> Just the, the things you do in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. So, update. Braden's waiting to talk to someone about get tires. It's We've been calling, I mean, we're on two hours of sleep. We've been calling people since the second that, that they, they opened. Ugh, for some reason, I have the hiccups now. Um, anyways, so essentially we called pretty much every single tire shop here. And like basically no one carries the tires. Um, we're still waiting on one shop, but it's taking a while because they're really busy. So We're waiting to hear from them. Brayden's standing waiting to chat with people because they're supposed to check if they have even tires remotely the size of That he needs um, So yeah, we've just been kind of calling people trying to figure out what to do There's a chance that we can get them ordered and shipped here 
from Fairbanks to Toke and then hopefully get them on and, and, and be back home tomorrow night. It's Monday, so that would be Tuesday night. There's a chance that we could do that, but we have to wait until these people tell us if they have tires or not. So obviously if they have tires that fit the car, then we'll use them over ordering them. Um, and then we went to the visitor center and we chatted with the guy and he was like, yeah, it looks like you guys really exhausted all your options pretty much. So now it's just a waiting game. So we'll see. How do you feel? Honestly, like a one out of ten. Wow. Just pretty, pretty bad days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running on like what, like three hours of sleep? Basically, Not even like, like two. two. Like two hours of sleep. I haven't eaten since yesterday. <laughs> what are our options right now? We can. So we pulled around to every shop. We can find for past six hours, five hours, trying to figure out what to do. We're going to get tires, how we're going to get fixed these things, fix yeah. this problem. And it seems our only solution is to ship tires from the closest big city, which is Fairbanks. And yeah, that's pretty much our only option. Or yeah. tow, which is probably going to cost us like over $2,000. We can't do that. We are poor, and this is already really unfortunate. Yeah. And your parents are supposed to be getting in tonight. We don't see very often, and we were supposed to pick them up tonight. From the airport. If we would have been, if we didn't have this problem, we probably would have been almost home by now. Definitely pretty much home, basically. So... Good for us. Yeah, Found it. Hopefully we can get Did to see your so parents. Good. Hopefully we can get back tomorrow so we yeah. don't miss your parents being here. Like, yeah. I mean, they're here for a week, but... Yeah. We don't want to miss it. But, like, you don't get to see them very often. It's obviously we'll have as much time as possible. Yeah. It's so bad. Huh? Hey guys, what's popping? What's happening? Yeah, we're getting greasier and greasier by the video. Literally the grimiest I've ever felt. I feel so gross. I need to shower so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty, greasy. It's so hot. Yeah. Um, so, update. Um, we're parking in the back of a gas station because we asked them if we could for the night. And they said, yeah, that's fine considering our circumstance. Yeah, we told them about our flats. They were nice. They offered, like, they told us where to go, like, which shops to check out. Yeah, Like, which tire good. stores. Yeah. And so, things are underway. We figured it out. Um, I mean, literally, so grateful because his aunt lives in Fairbanks. And she found tires that fit, four of them, for super cheap, that fit. And she's driving them with her husband. After work. <laughs> After work, all the way. So it's about a three-hour drive. There. Uh, yeah, one here, way. One way. So three hours to get here. And she's it. gonna do that to come deliver. And then it. drive back because he has work the next day. Yeah. So. We're very very thankful that they were able to do that, or they're going to do that. Yeah, and then we called around and we got an appoint an appointment for like 9 a.m. for them to swap tires. At 9 a.m. Yeah. And so we can, like, we can leave this town. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. So, yeah. Now we're just chilling. We reorganized the whole car. A little bit, yeah. Because we Cleaned had... up our bags and we had stuff everywhere. Yeah, it was just, like, a I mean, full... we've been in here for a week, so it's just things have been going chaotic. Yeah. Like, spreading, Thing. making more of a mess. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It is now, like, 9.30. I don't have a watch on the same. 9.30 in the night time. We're sitting in the car. Yeah. We've acquired our tires. And then we went for dinner with them. And they mm -hmm. were super nice. And they wouldn't even let me pay. I paid for the tires. But 
they would they wouldn't let me pay, like buy them dinner like they were just so nice they were just so happy to see me and yeah. and you because they hadn't i hadn't i haven't seen them in a while so yeah yeah so it was really nice mentioning i can't wait to be home i can't wait to be in bed or like shower <laughs> yeah near a washroom it's... like i can throw them in after I don't know how dirty everything is, but I'm so happy. Oh I drove God. over and it felt normal, <laughs> which is amazing. It's so good. Got we gotta reorganize. I can't believe. Oh, it worked and we're free. See this? Mood has changed. We're moving. And what that means is our tires are on the car. They're not broken. <sighs> yeah, we have brand new tires. Like, pretty much brand new tires. So, wow. <sighs> I feel so much better that we can just leave. They're so cheap. That's uh, the, like, we actually managed to get out of this with like, spending like $200 to get yeah. new tires and get them put on, on yeah. their rims. Like, Which is we lucked out so much. Of. The other company was gonna charge me two twenty just to put the tires on. Yeah. This company charged me ninety. Yeah. Which is why you call around. It's very good to call around for quotes. Just call the office, see what they charge you. Yeah. Like we saved uh, like one hundred twenty, one hundred thirty dollars by calling around. Yeah. <sighs> Goodbye, Chevron. Bye. It was so nice, so nice that we got to hang out with you for Ooh. the last 24 hours. Goodbye, Chevron. Goodbye, Chevron. Goodbye. It's kind of rough road through there, as we know. Yeah, so we're going to be extra <laughs> observant. We are not allowed to hit potholes. We are no more potholes. Uh, we know where that one is, though. Yeah, so, we know it very well. If I do smoke that one again, that's just stupid on my just, part. Yeah. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> so, full tank, brand new tires. I'm so relieved that we get to go home. So, yeah. <sighs> It does look pretty brutal. It's like probably like that.